<sighs> it's good to be back in the garage. I don't know why. Oh, the hot glue gun, the little yellow thing. <laughs> I don't know how I noticed that from like t 20, maybe 15 feet away. Like, yes, that thing. I need that thing. <laughs> Anyways, so about four years ago now, well, I'm going to talk while I grab this glue gun. <laughs> uh, about four years ago, I joined a robotics team, or at least a high school robotics team. And my first year, we had a game called Steamworks. And that game was steampunk themed. The year before that was Medieval, that was Stronghold. And uh, 2017 was by far my favorite year. Or at least it was, it was the top year for us, and us being my, my freshman year class. So, since it was Steamworks or steampunk themed, and we were allowed to dress up, what my classmates and I did, or at least what I did for the most part, was um, I made a hat, and I bought some stuff to put on, and uh, this hat was five pounds. That doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're dancing around and you're jumping around a lot, it eventually puts a lot of weight on you. My head was a lot smaller back then as well. That's another thing. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it didn't get inflated with an ego yet. Long story short... The costume I wore, which hopefully I can find a photo of it, is here. And that was, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Not much else to say. It wasn't really much of a costume. It was just some accessories. I had the hat. I had basically a souped-up fanny pack on my left leg, um, a bow tie in some places, a uh, collared shirt underneath, and most of the time I had black Harley Davidson boots on with some half slacks. I think that's what they're called. I believe that's what they're called. I can't remember if that's what they're called. Mm. So, today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be fixing that old hat. Now, it used to light up and it used to be a pain in my ass. <laughs> Not even going to lie, this thing used to keep breaking. This CO2 cartridge right here used to be illuminated with a red light. Didn't work out. The lenses used to have a red light on one side, blue on the other, because in the game, um, red and blue are the sides that compete. So, uh, yeah, I also... Used to have safety glasses that this thing attached to it that made makeshift ones. But uh, recently I came into some steampunk goggles because my Steamworks uh, original goggles broke. I say Steamworks because that's what I considered this whole hat was my Steamworks hat. Um, so with some hot glue... Oh, another thing. This part used to have a flashlight in it. But since my original 11th Doctor's sonic screwdriver broke, I figured... Why not? And I put it in the old light bulb socket that the flashlight was in. The other side, just a bunch of random parts that I scrambled together. And um, that red wire was where the battery used to be for that CO2 cartridge to hook up. So yeah, it was some strange sculpting with a lot of hot glue. And I used some silver sharpener to make it look like a tack weld. And uh, this side was surprisingly clean compared to this side. <laughs> you can tell which one I made first. This one. So, that's a drawer handle, by the way. <laughs> That's two little, that's a steel door handle that I painted gold. These are uh, two little brass door handles and then with, uh, or no, two little wood door handles I painted silver with two brass washers on the top. And then just some, not lug nuts, but uh, just some random nuts and bolts and a plate, a magnet down here, and just a random aluminum stock in the center. So it looked pretty good from a distance, but as close as you get, you can see all of the, like, the pieces of glue and just nasty. Four years ago, I had a basic idea of what I wanted to do with it. Now I'm trying to fix it. It also was attached with two belts. This is pretty good leather working for a 14 year old. I'm actually impressed. The original hat though was just like a top hat you can get at Dollar Tree. And uh, I put some cards on it. I had a Pinochle deck and I'm like, you know what, screw it, let's butcher it. Wait, was it Pinochle? I don't think it was Pinochle, but it was, I had a duplicate. Shit. So my brother scared the ever living shit out of me. He has not been on this channel yet, and I'm not going to force him. Anyways, uh, this hat was basically garbage four years ago. So I'm going to glue it up and see what I can do. Um, I'm not, I, I think I'll time lapse it. Eh, why not? Let's do that. So uh, I got the stuff glued on to the hat now, so it's going to be perfect. Uh, my brother's behind the camera, so if I start giggling, he's being retarded. Ooh, I used the I'm not retarded! <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay. So, now that I... I hate you so much. Now that I have everything glued together, um, I have to work on a filler piece because the goggles are not long enough compared to the safety glasses that originally were. So I have to figure out what I'm going to put in between that. In retrospect, I forgot to record um, me gluing on the rest of it. But there wasn't really much to talk about aside from that. Once I got the sides glued on, I just had to figure out a filler piece because the goggles were short and then I could glue the goggles on. So I found a filler piece. Um, I found two giant two inch wide washers for either side. So technically I found four. I have wonderful math skills. <laughs> found four and then I have two on either si side and then I just glued the goggles to those. So um, they are permanently attached. This one's a little loose. It kind of freaked me out like, oh no. But it's just because it's held on by one piece of glue because I forgot that part. But um, yeah, the original goggles, you could take the goggles off and wear them. But um, since I'm probably not going to wear this with the goggles off ever again, I figured, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's glue it to it. Yeah, that kind of rhymed. Um, so yeah, on this side, a bunch of random crap in a CO2 container that was milled out. Um, some Halloween goggles that I got this year and then on the side we have my first sonic screwdriver in a light bulb that was screwed onto a hinge or a light bulb holder that was screwed onto a hinge so this can rotate and can match this side or just yeah leave it like I normally do we have the two belts and we have some stickers and then some playing cards of the same team number so yeah um, it still fits Surprisingly enough, I don't really have any problems wearing it. I mean, it's not really good when it comes to fashion, but um, if I ever want to have this at a competition, I can have it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to add this to the collection of stuff I've made for robotics at this point, including that R2-D2. So yeah, I think it's good. So make sure to like and subscribe today and make sure to click that bell icon to receive notifications for whenever I upload because I definitely upload once a week. I am completely organized and situated and I have an uploading plan. Okay, have a good one.